Hello everybody, thank you for joining me today for another classic Alfred Hitchcock film review. Today I'm going to be talking about the 1972 film Frenzy as part of Alfred Hitchcock, The Ultimate Collection. Frenzy stars John Finch, Barry Foster, and Alex McGowan. And as always, there will be spoilers for the film. Uh, I like to review some of these movies here from time to time. And Frenzy is an interesting one. It is one of Hitchcock's later films. It's also one of his most... Uh, brutal and disturbing in some ways. It has some pretty intense violence for a film from the early 70s, and there's also a bit of uh, nudity in the film. But if you can handle this stuff, I definitely think you should watch Frenzy because it's really good, and I think a little bit of an overlooked and under-the-radar Hitchcock film. So the basic plot is that there's a strangler going around killing women, and when the movie starts, we don't know who it is. Our main character, Blaney, seems to be a likely suspect, but pretty early on, we learn that it's someone else, except all the circumstances make the police think it's still probably Blaney, who then basically has to be cleared as the movie progresses. Not the most original plot ever, but it works pretty well here. It's interesting how the movie gives all three leads screen time. We have Blaney, the man I talked about already, Rusk, and a police officer in charge of the case. And the scenes with the officer are actually pretty funny, as there's a running joke about what his wife cooks him for dinner that I thought surprisingly worked uh, really well. It's kind of risky to put dark humor in a film like Frenzy, but I thought overall that it worked. Overall, the three leads are solid, and there's also some nice supporting work from Anna Massey and Jean Marsh in the film, who I thought played their parts very well. The film is very suspenseful, which Hitchcock is known for, and the highlight for me was a scene where the killer is in a potato truck of all things. It's one of those scenes that you kind of have to see to believe. It's very, very good. There's also a shocking strangling scene in this film, which is quite disturbing. The technicals are very good as usual. There's a really impressive continuous shot partway through this film. I did think the score could have been a little better. It's not as memorable as the music from many other Hitchcock films, but it's still fine. There are a few other small negatives to this film. The film is a bit deliberate to start. Once it gets going, it's really good though. A bit of the dialogue is a bit odd in a few scenes, and also the ending feels a bit rushed in my opinion. The film does a great job of kind of being a slow burn, and although the ending is pretty satisfying, I thought maybe they could have done a bit more with it perhaps. Still, while not at the level of Hitchcock's all-time greatest films, Frenzy is a later day uh, film worth watching from Hitchcock. I do think it's a bit underrated, maybe because it is a 70s Hitchcock film, and overall I give Frenzy a 4 out of 5. Feel free to leave me a comment, as always, if you've seen Frenzy, if you liked it or not, what you thought of the film. Thanks for your continued support, and thank you very much for watching.